school's back. Hi guys, my name is Rachel. I'm currently here at SFU or Simon Fraser University. And I pretty much just wanted to show you what it's like studying here, what the student life is, and what to expect if you were to attend the school. Just a couple weeks ago, I posted a video on YouTube talking about the top 10 affordable colleges in Canada, particularly in BC. It did surprisingly well, which gave me an indication of what you guys are looking for. I even asked you guys which province to cover next, and the majority of you commented Ontario. And that's exactly what you're going to get in today's video. So let's jump right into it. All right, so I just want to reiterate some of the parameters I've established in creating this list. Obviously, I'm not just going to throw you a school and a program and its cost without considering other important factors such as one, choosing a school that is a DLI. The school needs to be a designated learning institution if you are hoping to come to Canada on a study permit for more than six months. Second, I will only be mentioning programs that are PGWP eligible, which basically means that you can work in Canada after graduation on an open work permit called the Postgrad Work Permit. Third, all of the programs listed are two years in length. I highly recommend studying at least a two-year program because it's a win-win. Whether you study for two, three, or four years here in Canada, the max you'll ever get is a three-year postgrad work permit. So studying for at least two years is the most bang for your buck. And take note, a PGWP is only issued once in your life and there are no extensions for it, so use it wisely. Fourth, I will only be sharing the tuition cost and the living cost per year. So if you want to know the full tuition cost, just multiply the number you see by two. But also please be aware that tuition costs may be subject to change without notice. So it is your responsibility to keep up to date with that information. So without further ado, here are the top 10 affordable colleges in Ontario. All right, so in 10th place, we have Fleming College located in Peterborough, Ontario. Hopefully I pronounced it right. If you're interested in health information management, well, they're offering a two-year program at 13,820 Canadian dollars per year. Other programs offered at this school that are also hovering at the same price are forestry technician, environmental technician, and ecosystem management. This school is surrounded by lakes, rivers, and green spaces, which kind of makes a lot of sense as to why they're offering these type of programs at their school. In ninth place, there's Georgian at ILA. AC or ILAC, and this school is based in Toronto. They're offering a college diploma in business at 13,740 Canadian dollars per year. In eighth place, we have Northern College. And check this out. They have a campus in South Porcupine. That's cute. Kirkland Lake and Haleybury. Haley Bieber? Haleybury. They offer a variety of programs that cost 13,689 Canadian dollars per year, and they are in business accounting, marketing or human resources, computer engineering technician, office administration executive, and veterinary technician. Now, coming in at seventh place is Niagara College. Side note, I really wanna see their Niagara Falls. I don't know, it's just part of my bucket list, but I'm hoping to visit that place soon. They are offering a diploma program in protection security and investigation, customs border services. The tuition cost is at 13,540 Canadian dollars per year. Aside from that, they're also offering several programs in office administration, health services, sales and marketing, accounting, pharmacy technician, and the like. Sixth place is definitely a familiar name and that is Conestoga College. This school is huge and they have several campuses in Kitchener, Guelp, Waterloo, Cambridge, and Brantford. Oh my god guys, like there are a lot of programs with tuition costs at 13,350 Canadian dollars per year. I'll mention a few and they are in early childhood education, tourism in destinations and travel management, public relations, baking and pastry arts management, journalism, business, and I could go on, but you kind of get the point. Now for fifth place, we have Confederation College located in Thunder Bay, Ontario. They have a two-year diploma program in culinary management. And it's also pretty cool that they offer a field placement during your studies. This means you'll be given real-world experience in the field, as well as hands-on learning. The tuition cost is 13,302 Canadian dollars per year. 
For fourth place, we have Fanshawe College located in London, Ontario. There is a two-year diploma in becoming an occupational therapist assistant and physiotherapist assistant. The tuition cost is at 13,152 Canadian dollars per year. In third place, we have Humber College, and this is located in Toronto, Ontario. I share this with excitement because it is located in one of the liveliest cities in Ontario and Canada for that matter. And honestly, it's quite rare to find an affordable school in a lively city such as Toronto. Just because the cost to live here is higher in comparison to smaller cities. So I'm glad that Humber is able to give you the best of both worlds. There is a two-year diploma program in practical nursing with tuition cost at 12,748 Canadian dollars per year. Now, for second place, we have Canada College located in North Bay, Ontario. The school offers a lot of two-year diploma programs with tuition costs at 12,423 Canadian dollars per year. And these programs are in business accounting, early childhood education, culinary management, computer systems, networking technician, and mechanical engineering technician. And finally, coming in at first place, drum roll please. We have Cambrian College located in Sudbury, Ontario. There is a two-year diploma program in workplace safety and prevention, and the tuition fee per year is at 12,350 Canadian dollars. So if this floats your boat, then you may consider taking this program. Next, here are some of my observations about the schools I've just mentioned. First off, most of the schools listed offer a program in business, specifically in accounting, finance, and administration. This comes as no surprise because everything is a business and hence jobs in this industry will remain in demand and relevant for a long, long time. But this area of study is especially useful in Ontario as it is home to financial juggernauts like RBC, TD, CIBC, Scotiabank, and BMO. By the way, those are the major banks in Canada. Just letting you know. Next, among all of the schools and programs listed, only two came from Toronto, which is expected since majority of the affordable colleges in Ontario will be located in smaller cities. But guys, I do want to be frank with you, as there is a cost to choosing programs with lower tuition fees. As an example, there are some schools that are located in areas where there is limited access to transportation, which entails a longer commute on your end or having to wait longer periods for the next bus to arrive. Another example is extreme climate. Some cities have well below zero degrees and you may have to prepare for the cold weather, especially when winter comes around. Another example is a quieter social life or a quieter social neighborhood. And I don't know about you, but I personally prefer to study, live and work in busier cities such as Toronto or Vancouver because that's where the people are. There are more opportunities to engage with other people from all walks of life. And it's also a good experience to immerse yourself in this type of setting. In short, just be mindful that while affordable tuition is an attractive option, this shouldn't be the be-all and end-all in your decision-making process. Now, choosing a school is more than just picking from a list and hoping that it all goes well. There are several considerations in your journey to study in Canada, such as seat availability. Each school has its own popular program, and if you're eyeing to make an application for it, you may have to do so well in advance. Other programs may be competitive to get into, and some programs are only offered at a certain period of time. In all cases, seat availability may be an issue. Program eligibility. Schools will look at your level of education, your grade point average, resume, English proficiency, and yada yada. Each school has a unique set of requirements that you need to fulfill and meet before getting issued a letter of acceptance. And to be honest, it can be a headache, especially if you don't know how and where to start. We simplify the process by providing an education assessment that helps us match you with the appropriate programs as well as help you gather all the necessary documents for your school application. Next up, timelines. I get this question a lot. When is it a good time to start my studies in Canada? How much time do I need to prepare for my school application and also my study permit application? Which, by the way, I already covered in another video. Anyway, that's it. That's all I have for today. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, then kindly like and subscribe to my channel. Also, let me know which province or school you'd like me to cover next by commenting it down below. Thanks again for watching. 
be safe and be kind. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.